Hello, hello. Welcome to the Chasing Dreams podcast. Today, I have two special guests who make up the the dream team behind Made Herself a Boss. It started with just two women learning about starting a business and wanting to share what they learned. What was meant to be a simple workshop blossomed into a unique and educational conference featuring some of the best in the business of business. <laughs> After held at the start of each year, their conferences offer key components every girl boss needs to be familiar with when starting her own brand. Business law, branding, marketing, finance, you name it. Meeting and understanding that meeting new people is a great and getting empowered, a great way to get empowered to follow your dreams is definitely the icing on the cake. But many are still left without the fundamental tools and knowledge to actually get started in launching that product or service to their consumer. That is where this and their other events come in. Not only are they fun, but they leave the intending with effective tools to take home and get started immediately on their girl boss goals. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Hello. Hello. I love how you read that. You have such a podcast perfect voice. I love yes. it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having us. Guys. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I like to start off each interview by asking, like, what is the dream for Made Herself a Boss? Okay. Did you want me to start? You wanted to start shy. Uh, you got it. <laughs> okay. So the dream behind Made Herself a Boss is simply to educate the woman in her beginning stages who wants to start a business, who wants to take her financial life into her own hands, who wants to make a difference, but she literally does not know where to start because truthfully speaking, we've all been there. And even as Shy and I got together and created I'll tell you the backstory behind how, how it happened. Okay. But even as Shai and I got together um, to create the Made Herself a Boss Conference, we were still learning in the process ourselves. And we found that bringing in some experts mm -hmm. to teach these fundamental tools to properly get started and have a thriving business thereafter, I mean, that's really the dream to me. That's is just something that we were really inspired to do. And we see that it's been effective and a lot of women are very excited and happy with this. So that's the dream to me, in my own words. <laughs> yes, yes. And then to just make the dream um, globally, you know, the future of Made Herself a Boss is all about having a one-stop shop where that woman can come in and get all things done to make herself that boss. Whatever she wants to become, we're helping her making those steps. So having a huge building called Legacy where she can leave her legacy there and she can explore all ways that she can become a boss in one area. So globally, we're getting there through a conference, but we're going to grow into a one-stop shop where that woman can just take care of all her boss needs. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think if there's anything that COVID-19 has taught us is you cannot rely on one stream of income because that stream can be pulled from underneath you in a blink of an eye. Exactly, exactly. A woman, a person in general must be resourceful, but Hello. I mean, absolutely. This has taught us all so much. Um, I'm sorry, lost my train of thought. Go right ahead with the question. <laughs> so when did you guys realize the dream and how has it changed over the years? I'll let you so know. good question. Realize the dream um, in a weird way. So okay. it became the the power of, like you said, keeping good relationships and reaching out to people, right? I met Brittany off of Instagram, um, just dropped in her DM, and she did something. Long story short, she really reached out and said, hey, let's, let's do something together. Um, we have a lot of similar goals. We have a lot of similar passions. Let's see what we can do together. The wow. power of keeping a good connection and leaving a really good impression on somebody really matters, um, no matter where you meet them, right? So all times of our lives. But um, we realized the dream when we sat there at um, Del Pen Nachos <laughs> and realized, like, we really want to encourage the women in our community. Like, we really want to see more women taking their seriously and not to stay stagnant. Yeah. To not achieve certain things, whatever their circumstance may be. 
So we realized like we can see, perceive women everywhere just really doing it, sharing the bag, doing it, uplifting each other, coming together. And I think right at that moment, we said, um, we have a lot of similar interests. Like we feel passionate. That's when the dream was birthed. I think, like you said, it took time to ride it out and figure out where to go with it. Yeah. But I feel like that's where it was birthed. And that's where we both realized, you know what, we have a connection. Let's encourage people to have the same connection and vibe with us. That's Love exactly it. What <laughs> Love it. So what make, made herself a boss so different from all of the other um, empowerment spaces? Like what, what, what makes you guys different? You want that? Make, I'll take that. <laughs> What makes made herself a boss different is that we specify we niche down to a specific type of woman. Those who are just starting have no idea what they're doing, most likely feeling overwhelmed, most likely just very confused and so to speak doubtful of themselves. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of these other conferences, like they're built to make you feel good and like Mm -hmm. that's good. We do that too. And a lot of other places, they're built to really cater to women who somewhat know what they're doing already. And maybe it's to build off of the knowledge that they already have. But what about that girl who just decided and broke, had her breaking point yesterday? Right. I'm tired of this. You know, Mm -hmm. my job sucks or I feel overwhelmed by my family responsibilities. I really just want something for myself where I can build my own income and really expand my horizons. Where's the space for that woman? So year after year after year, the Made Herself a Boss Conference and all of our activities, we cater um, and curate content for that woman because as the people who we help, you know, they go on and do great things. There's always going to be another woman who's going to find herself in that situation every day. So we're here for you. (laughs) And so you guys host uh, the conference at the top of each year. Is that correct? Yes. We host at the top of each year. Say that one more time. How many years has it been? Oh my gosh. We had year three um, at the beginning of March. We were so fortunate enough to have it right before things shut down. Yeah. To COVID. Yeah. Like even our, um, the person who, owns the venue say you guys are so fortunate because literally mm-hmm. we've had to cancel everything else right after you. Yes. So that was God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You look out. So from within Made Herself a Boss, what kind of events, what kind of services, what do you offer to the customer? Great. Okay. So we all offer things in a variety of ways. So of course we have events. So we have the main event, which is the Made Herself a Boss conference yearly. And then we have intimate workshops. So we're all about impact. And we have a lot of intimate workshops where we can focus through email marketing and branding with that customer, things that a lot of people may have trouble on or starting or understanding how to start. Um, so we have workshops that focus on that. And then we have our amazing online content um, as well, where we have the starter thon So every quarter we have a starter thon where we bring on amazing women like you are, and we interview them for a short period of time in hopes to raise more money and one person start their business. So all year we're raising money quarterly and at the Made Herself a Boss conference, the money that we raise goes to one honoree um, to help her uh, push to become that boss that she wants to be. And of course, there's a process you know, to pitch and do different things. Um, but we are all about, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a village of women to help each other. So yes. that is the purpose of the start thon And we have different online content, like Brittany was saying, in the boss house, like we had to quickly do the quick pivot yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you know uh, and zoom things but also have digital products to make sure that they understand that they can connect and engage with our customer so we have things like the ig live super template a super pack i'm sorry template um we also have things like um brand your branded gifts and things coming up in that nature just to help that person to learn different ways that they can brand themselves creatively um and really engage with that customer so we make sure that we hit those bases um for them and then, oh, how could I forget? We have Girl Boss Weekend. Um, and that's a celebratory thing of all us beautiful women coming together and just really honoring each other and the things that we do. So we'll have like a networking event, um, Girl Boss Marketplace, with our vendors. And we have like a celebratory event where we're just really vibing, networking, and really just celebrating all the things that we do um, each and every day to make an impact in our community. And then with Bertha, that's really new because Bri and I last year just went through a lot trying to figure out, you know, the direction of Made Herself a Boss, we birthed the workation and then going away and really refocusing and recharging within our business. So the fact that we found out it was good for us, it was like, you know what, it could definitely be good for our women in our community. So 
birthing the vacation and just going away, which was in September, mm-hmm. um, just focusing, recharging, and having some fun. Because, you know, life can get get at us. Um, our distractions, our everyday responsibilities. You know, there's wives, mothers, all types of us um, out there. So we're really taking time to cater to that inner person um, on that vacation while they're getting help to get the you know, clarity on their business. So we do we cater to a lot of different things so that that girl boss is becoming that. Absolutely. Yes. And what are your what would you say are your individual reasons for starting made herself a boss? Okay, <laughs> should I go first? <laughs> my individual my individual reason for starting made herself a boss. I have to take myself back to when I first reached out to Shy to have uh, dinner with her over some nachos yes. and really brainstorm some things. Um, my individual reason. So I found myself as a business owner before meeting Shy, being a very shy person, um, lack of creativity, just a lot of self-doubt, overwhelmed Mm -hmm. from just life. And I wanted to help and create a platform that would help that type of person through collaboration, through something that really encourages me to be creative, through a program that will offer me answers to questions really nobody talks about. I don't know how many times I've seen or go gone to other events or content online, but no one talks about how do you make money? How do you raise money to Hello. make the money? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's like this big secret that no one wants to like touch on. And so I'm like, Shy, we have to touch on these things because women want to know. They deserve to know. It's not mm-hmm. like there's not enough seats at the table. Right. Um, so my individual reason for starting Made Herself a Boss and choosing the business partner that I did was to bring those ideas to light. Love it. Yes, yes. That was good, Bree. Um, <laughs> Just put um, a little for me, on it. <laughs> oh, my God. So um, for me, it was a selfish reason. I, I, we, I'll be honest. Um, for me, it was to be able to, um, I'm not from Delaware. So being able to have a friend when you move to a new place where you know nobody, right, was so exciting for me. Um, to be able to actually see things that I've written down on a piece of paper that I gave up on come to life, but it was the partner that encouraged me to, to say, like, girl, you got, we got this, we got this. So I think it was, I think it was more of a friendship um, thing for me is why I started making a the boss. And then it just grew to, of course, the impact, the impact. You know, my mom always said about people that you have in your circle are, how are they impacting you? How are they treating you? And how are they swimming to your life? So I always thought about that stuff my mom always said. And I said, you know what? We got to put that in made us a How are we sewing into others? How are we impacting them? How are we really reaching out to them in a way that they're growing, right? Mm-hmm. So I think it started out self because I had no friends and I'm not from here. And it grew into something more of the foundation of what my mom taught us, taught me, I'm sorry, about um, friendship, mm-hmm. right? And about reaching out to others. So I could say it was definitely those two things the reason of starting made herself a boss and you know of course my own journey of becoming my own boss like yes. reason for the title you know declaring it and putting it out there but it's also the journey yes i'm that so yeah that's mine awesome. so okay so i'm listening to this episode and i'm like you know what i want to make myself a boss right? <laughs> like, give, give me a hit what are three things that i can do three steps to take in order to become a girl boss what help me out what can i do okay i would say my first step right Bree, you got the second one my first step would be my mind. I got to get the mind together. It's all about the mindset. People don't understand like the power of the mind will change your entire life once you get your mind correct. So I say my first step to get my mind in order, get my mind intact and understand what do I want for myself? Mm-hmm. Um, what are some things harboring my mind that is stopping me to keep me stagnant or stopping me from reaching a goal, period, right? We won't even go bigger to, to the dream. Like let's talk about our everyday goals. Let's talk about Three days out the week, can I exercise for 20 minutes? What is mind blocking you from actually reaching a goal? Because once you realize that, then you're able to, you know what, surpass it. I know how to get myself together, keep myself encouraged, keep that positive vibe around me where I know that I can accomplish anything because this journey will definitely knock you down. You'll definitely get all the no's and all the rejection, but how are you going forward? So I would say my first step 
is getting this mind right. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent answer. You stole what my first one was going to be. <laughs> So yeah. I'll hop in with the second one. My second one would be research. And you can use any other synonym for that. But in general, it speaks to doing your research on your industry that you're interested in. Um, who else around you or maybe even outside of your state is also interested in that genre who you can collaborate with? Shai and I talk about all the time how working smarter, not harder. And a lot of times someone has done something before you and you can learn and become inspired by that. Put your own creative twist on it, you know, and create something that speaks to your individual tribe and community. Mm -hmm. um, no business owner or business will really go far if they don't do research. If they don't do research, they will be talking to themselves. They will not know what they're doing. And they... In general, that's just what you have to do. That's not yeah. even an option. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And before we get into step three, I just wanted to, to add a little flavor on that one. So yeah. a lot of times when I'm working with my clients and they're like, well, I don't know what to charge. I don't know what to charge. Research it, baby. <laughs> like whatever service you're offering, I promise it's not the first time this service has ever been offered. See how much people are charging for it and then measure yourself based on your expertise, based on where you are in your business. Where do you fit in that scale? And go with that number. And, and it's so funny that we had a really good conversation during the last year's uh, last week um, about um, self-confidence and pricing mm -hmm. and how that plays a huge part. And when we price our products and services, um, how we feel about ourselves or how we feel about, you know, where we just started and not, like you said, if you're not doing the research, you know, how do you know what to charge or where you should charge, right? So we, it's funny that you said that because we talked about how self-confidence can play a part in us trying to figure out our research and how to price our products. Right. right. For sure. Okay. So what's step number three? So I got my mind together, right? <laughs> I done did my research. <laughs> what's next? Next is execution and writing. I kind of like combine them. I knew she would say that. Taking action. <laughs> action. Because your goal means nothing if you don't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I just, that's, that's huge. Oh, you're, right. no, you're absolutely right. So it's all about writing first, right? Because when we write it down, it does something to our brain. Remember, we already got our mindset. So it does something to our brain and makes us, you know, this is actually real. This is actually happening. I'm actually working through this. So writing down what your plan is, what success looks like to you, what you're going to do after all your research, after getting your mind right, and coming up with small goals that can get you to the big one, yeah. which aka equals execution. So realizing like every time you hit a small goal, you're, you're executing. Every time you're hitting a small goal that builds up to the big goal, you're executing. You're actually doing something. You know what I'm saying? So you got your mind right, right? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? You did your research. You learned about all the things you need to do to get something off the ground. You researched the price. You researched all the things that you need to do. And now it's time to write it out and make it happen. Yeah. So write it out plain and follow those actual steps. Those moves. Make it happen with no excuse. So I like to throw the no excuse in there because sometimes self-doubt, the small, tiny voice in the back of our head, or even sometimes the people around us. So we got to be careful with the people around us yeah. um, actually interject, you know, stop that. So no excuse. All things. Get it done. <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> what's coming next for Made Herself a Boss? Like, what's, what, what's on the way? How, let us know. Okay, just to name a few, um, okay. because we do like to plan ahead. We yeah. have our networking events. Um, not a speed working net, not a speed networking event. We have a networking event where we're um, having you know a certain number of ladies come in and just really network and really learn how to collaborate and speak on certain subjects. It's really cool. We found a new tool where we can separate women off into different rooms and they can have their own little conversations. Okay. And then when we come back, we're going to have a group discussion because once those juices are flowing, people are going to want to talk. Hello. We have a DJ giving us the good vibes the whole time. Let's not act like that doesn't loosen up, people. <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> so that we're excited about on maybe 22nd on June the 6th, this is a slightly bigger event. It's called the Virtual Boss House. 
And we're super excited about that because we have different segments featuring amazing women, just having great conversations that need to be heard, especially since we're in the house about how to pivot your business, you know, during a pandemic, how to maintain your mental health, how to deal with people in your house that you can't stand, but you're in close quarters with them. <laughs> Um, and much, much more, again, accompanied by some good vibes with the DJ, and that's just going to be an amazing experience, and I'll even let Shaw talk about our workation, because she eloquently was describing that earlier. I would love to hear that again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, pressure. <laughs> pressure to do good. No, but we're also having um, a workation, <laughs> and a workation, a small group of ladies um, coming together in an amazing place, Marcos Island, Florida. So, meet y'all. So, um, an amazing place for us to unwind, just get all the COVID-19 away from us, get clarity on ourselves as women, and get clarity on our business so we know how to go forward. Fourth quarter is still coming no matter how we feel. So, how are we planning for it, right? So, how are we going to really try to hit some goals no matter what COVID-19 did to our other goals? So, we're all about preparing, having a good time, still learning, but relaxing at the same time. Because you'll be amazed how... You can get so much work done when you're far away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. That, that works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so I'll let you both answer this question. Um, but what would you say are your number one secrets to success? Mm. Mm. Number one secrets to success is knowing how to get yourself out of the slump that will always come at some point. Mm -hmm. That slump will happen. You will feel Mm -hmm. down. You will start to doubt yourself. You will feel like it's not good enough. Like just accept the fact that it's going to happen. You're going to have your down times, but to have a plan to get yourself out of it, whether it's calling a friend, um, reading a certain book that inspires you, listening to podcasts like this or YouTube videos. I have a whole slew of things that I use to get that, inspiration back into me and remind myself of what my why is so i would say that that's my number one key to secret to success know that that's coming and figure out how to get yourself out of it when it does Uh, oh Brittany, you kind of low-key scroll i'm Um, so sorry (laughs) i think that was payback (laughs) so petty right (laughs) Um, the secret to success honestly is um, your willingness to, to go through it. Um, what's so hard? Being patient is so hard because you want it right now. Um, so the willingness to drive through that journey, to drive through what patience is, um, the willingness to keep going because we've been knocked down to, um, the willingness to go when no one shows at your event, right? The willingness to go and humility, willingness together to go when you have 30, 50 people at your event and then the next day you have zero. So how do you come back from it, right? So I think the secret to success is the willingness to get through it all. Not similar to what Brittany said, but if I'm being real with myself, besides a good old prayer and a good old talk and listen to the Lord, um, it's definitely, you know, getting through it because you have, you have those times. You have the greatest of the greatest and you have the lowest of the lowest. And for me, I'm thankful enough to have somebody to go through it so that I can be pushed and vice versa because life still happens no matter what uh, business you grow. Mm-hmm. So it's ha- for me, it's having somebody there that can help me, that can push you through the journey with me. Um, but I think it's willing. Yeah. That's going. And, that, and that's the reality. Like as an entrepreneur, there's going to be high moments. There's going to be low moments. And very often they come in the same day. Exactly. <laughs> You just have to be a part of the process. <laughs> it's normal. I'm not alone. Um, but I agree. So my business partner for the nonprofit Life After Loss, like there are times where I'm like, you busy? And we just get on the phone and he visits about his day and I visit about my day. And I'm just like, okay. Shy all day. <laughs> it's so needed. It's so needed. For sure. So shout out to my business partner, Jay. Thank you for holding me down. <laughs> but yeah, it is so important <laughs> to have that person to be able to like tap in with. And the crazy part, so I have my business, he has his business, and then we run the nonprofit together. So on top of all of that, like we still have our other things that it's just like, all right, I know this ain't about the nonprofit, but 
Right. You know, and having that friendship to be able to like tap in, to be able to connect, to be able to, you know, support each other in our various opportunities as well. So definitely huge. What final thoughts do you have for us as an audience? I'll let y'all go first. Oh, me on spot. Okay, <laughs> final I really want to just say that whatever you're going through, right, because we all are going through so many things right now, whatever you're going through, you take time to um, write it out or think it through and figure out a way for you to just push through it, right? Because we're all in times where a lot of us are really just, our minds can be everywhere, right? Everywhere. And it's okay to not be okay. Like, I had to understand that for my own self. Like, it's okay to feel these emotions when you don't want to do anything. You're not understanding why you even feel this way, right? So I just want to say, like, on the road of becoming the boss that you want to be, it's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to figure out how you can push through it or lean on somebody else to help you push through that. Because it's not easy. Because I'm going through it. <laughs> yeah. So being okay with not being okay during your journey is perfectly normal. <laughs> yes. 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 So I would say, um, it, what I have to say is actually a companion to what Shai just said. And it's just quite simply, you can do it. You can do it. As long as you believe you can achieve what your dream is. I mean, think about the amazing companies around us. Someone had to tell them, if not themselves, mm -hmm. I can do it. I can raise these bars. I can achieve these unimaginable things. And I will have down times, like Shai just said. I will have times of doubt. Sometimes I might bring an idea to the audience and they're just going to hate it. But as long as you have another day ahead of you, as long as you have, you still have breath in your body, you can do it. And your timeline looks, your, the timeline looks different for everyone. Just remind yourself of that. You can do it. You can get through this. And I think having that mindset, at least the majority of the time, will allow you to achieve unimaginable things in life. Mm -hmm. So where can people find <laughs> Made Herself a Boss? Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can find us on these Instagram streets at Made Herself a Boss, all one word. Um, you can find us on our website, madeherselfaboss.com. Um, you can email us or drop in our DMs at madeherselfaboss at gmail.com. Um, we are always somewhere in the DMs. We're always everywhere. So it's so easily to get in contact with a question or want to work with us or just have a simple, you know, vending session. You know, we've had that happen in our community too. So um, we're very approachable. We love talking. We love expressing ourselves. So you can reach us any platform. Facebook, Made us Yeah, Yes. <laughs> um, absolutely. And I just have to point out, especially to join our mailing list. The mailing list is lit. I'm just going to call it what it is. The no mailing list is lit. And we have so many things going on on small scales, like contests and products that we're selling on bigger scales, like events. I mean, we have a lot more going on than what we've had time to even mention here today. So the only way to stay in the know would be to join that mailing list, get yeah. inspired, know what's going on, save you a little coin, you want to participate in some things, and you will not regret it. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys for being a part of the Chasing Dreams podcast y'all make sure yes make sure y'all check made herself a boss out follow my on the gram you know holla at him real quick yes thank you for having us this was so yes. fun yes this is so amazing absolutely and we'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>